When we open Construct 2, we are going to first close this free edition window screen here and begin with starting a new project. So you'll see this screen every time you open Construct 2 and right now we just want to create a new project. So I'm going to go to Start and click on New Project and there are a lot of choices. So I'm going to select New Empty Project and press Open. So when I open Construct 2, you will see this is my center area, the white background. This is called as a layout. So I'm going to click on this layout and I'm going to go to my properties area here on the left and I'm going to select the layout size and I'm going to give a standard size. Now we want to keep in mind how will the game look on different web browsers or different phones or tablets. So to account for this, we need to make sure that we resize your game so that it can be played at an optimal resolution for all web browsers. So I'm going to go to my layout size and I'm going to set the size as 1366 by 768 and press enter. I usually like my layout to be in the center. So the first thing we're going to do is add some sprites into our layout. I'm going to right click on the layout, click on insert new object, select sprite, and then click insert. Now once I do this, you'll see a plus sign symbol in here that means now I'm ready to add a sprite so I'm going to click on my layout again and I'll see my edit image menu in here I'm going to go to the second one load an image from the file and you're going to go to computer and you're going to go to your uh, teacher account and you're going to go to your class you're going to go to construct 2 you're going to go to lesson 1 and you're going to select the background picture that I've given you in here and I'm going to press open and then I'm going to close this edit image window so now that I have my background in here my background size is little smaller than my layout I'm going to select my sprite for the background and I'm going to give a name as you all know we have a naming conventions for our sprites SPR and my sprite is going to be background and the size this is important we want to have the background the same size as a layout so I'm going to type in 1366 comma 768 and press enter now that our background and layout are the same size I'm going to put them together and I'm going to click run now if you see my output my picture is not completely embedded in my uh, layout so let's fix this so I'm going to go to new project in here I'm going to select new project when I click on new project I'll see the properties for the new project in here so I'm going to go to the window size and I'm going to again put in the same numbers 1366 comma 768 and press enter uh, just to let you know, if I open the properties for window size, it always begins with width first and then height. So the width here we typed in was 1366 and 768 was the height. So now let's click run. Now we get to see our complete picture in our layout. Now one more thing that we need to do in here is add a bubble. So I'm going to again right click on my layout click insert new object and press sprite and click insert I'm going to click again on the layout and again I'm going to go to open and your teacher account if you see you'll go to your backpack your teacher account your teacher name handout folder your class construct 2 lesson 1 and this time I'm going to select the bubble.png and press open so when we open our bubble, it's very important to crop the unwanted extra space that we have in our bubble. So I'm going to click on this crop transparent edges. And then it's very important to adjust the bubble's collision. 
So I'm going to, uh, the last thing that I want to do is set collision polygon. I'm going to select this. And a collision is an area that is around a sprite that checks to see if it has been touched or is colliding with another object. So we want to make sure the collision is surrounding the entire bubble sprite object. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to set to bounding box and then close. Now that I have my bubble sprite, the bubble size is too big and I'm going to make it a little small. But before that, we need to do the basics for this sprite. So I'm going to make sure that my bubble is selected and I'm going to go to the properties for the bubble sprite. And the first thing I want to do is give the name to my bubble sprite. So I'm going to call it as SPR bubble. And the size of the bubble, I'm going to put it as 100 by 100. Now let's click on the layers area here. Go ahead and click on layers. And I'm going to add another layer by clicking on the plus sign. Now I'm going to drag the zero layer above the layer one. And my layer one, my layer one, I'm going to rename it as background. And at the same time, when I look at the layer properties, make sure that the name is background and it is transparent. Now I'm going to click on my background sprite and I'm going to make sure I click on layer and I'm going to select the background layer. And I need to now go to layer zero and I need to make sure that I look into the layer properties. I'm going to transparent, drop this arrow down and select yes. So now I can see my background and the bubble sprite both.